Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to study the prime factorization of numbers. And I wrote here a list of some primes up to 30. You probably want to keep these in mind and as you work with prime factorization you'll start memorizing those. And uh, remember, a number is prime if it isn't divisible by anything else except by one and by itself. Okay, and prime factorization means that we take numbers that are not primes and we write them as something times something and you'll see what happens. We will use the model of a factor 3. My first step here in 18 is to write 18 as something times something. Whatever comes to mind, such as 3 times 6, like that. And now I will look at 3. Well, 3 is a prime, so I'll stop here. I won't go any further down. But 6 is not a prime. I can write it as 2 times 3, like that, okay? And now 2 and 3 are primes, so I am done. And then I will pick the leaves of the factor 3. The leaves are these primes here, okay? These numbers here. And then I write 18 equals this times this times this. But I will start with the smallest number, 2 times 3 times 3. And this here is the prime factorization of 18. Let's try it with 24. Now 24, first of all, it would be, for example, 4 times 6. Now 4 in its turn is 2 times 2. And then 6 is 3 times 2. And now I have just primes, 2, 2, 3 and 2. So I pick my leaves and I get the prime factorization of 24, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And here I want to write them in order, okay, from the smallest to larger primes. And it is sort of amazing, but no matter what number you take, you can always factorize it to prime factors. Let's try it with 75. 75, what comes to my mind is that it is 3 times 25. For starters, 3 is a prime here, 25 is 5 times 5, and 5 is a prime. So now I have my leaves, there's 3, 5, and 5, and so we get 75. Its prime factorization is 3 times 5 times 5. 84, okay? I happen to remember it's in the multiplication table of 12. But if you don't, you could start out by writing it as 2 times 42. It does not matter how you start. You will get the same result in the end anyway. And then 7 is a prime. Now this one is 3 times 4, and then 4 is 2 times 2. Now it's time to pick the leaves again. The 7, 3, 2, and 2. But when I'm writing it, I will get 84 equals starting with 2. 2 times 2, then times 3, and lastly times 7. And like I said, any number you take can be factorized into prime factors. The, pri the number you start with might be already a prime, okay? But if it is not a prime, you will be able to write it as a product of primes, okay? In other words, a multiplication that has just only primes here. Now, here I want to illustrate that we will get the same result no matter how you start out with your factoring. 40, I could start it out as 2 times 20, right? 20 is 4 times 5, and then 4 is 2 times 2. And over here, let's say I start out by 5 times 8. And then 8 is 2 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2. Okay, the factor trees look different, but the leaves are the same, because there's 2, 2, 2, and 5. And over here there's 5, 2, 2 and 2. So we get the same factorization. This is kind of like a game. I've always liked prime factorization because you can start in many different ways and your game always has an ending and you just kind of have to get there, you know? 59. Okay. Well, nothing comes to my mind. Is this divisible by 2? 
No. Is it divisible by 3? That's a divisibility test for 3. I add the digits. 5 plus 9 is 14. 14 is not divisible by 3, so neither is this one. Not divisible by 4 or 6 or any even number, of course. How about by 5? No. It doesn't end in 5 or 0. How about by 7? Well, the multiplication table of 7 has 56 and then 63. No, not by 7. By 9? Neither. It is a prime. So, basically, it doesn't produce any factor 3. It is just 59 times 1, or you can put here that it is prime number. 57, though, 5 plus 7 equals 12. 12 is divisible by 3, so this is divisible by 3. So, I can therefore start it by 3 times something. What's that something? Do you remember? You know 60 is divisible by 3. 60 is 20 times 3. And this is just 1, 3 less than that. So it's 3 times 90. Now, 19 is a prime, so I have my leaves, 3 and 19. 57 is 3 times 19, that's its prime factorization. So sometimes your factor 3 is pretty short and sometimes it is longer. If you go into bigger numbers, like 324 or whatever, then you can get much longer factor 3s. So, if you think these are kind of easy, I encourage you to try bigger numbers. Take something that is 747 or something, much bigger, okay? Like I said, any number that is not a prime in itself can be written as a product of primes. And even if it is a prime, you can write it as a product of itself times 1. So any number can be written as a product of primes. Primes are like building blocks of all numbers. And so it follows that we can reverse the process of factorization and start with primes, the building blocks, and build some numbers. It's like the tree upside down now. So I chose here a few examples. This is a game like too because you can choose any primes you want. And of course you can choose the same prime many times here and then see what kind of number you get as a result. Just choose four, five, even up to ten primes, some different, some same, and see what number you get. Now here, two times two is four, and then I could go four times Four times 5 would be 20, and then I have 20 times 13, so I get 260, okay? So this is actually the prime factorization of 260. Over here, I could go maybe 9, and then I'll take another 9 from here, then I have my 7, and then 9 times 9 would be 81, then I have the 7, and lastly I do 81 times 7, Okay, what's 80 times 7? That's 560. And then 1 times 7 is 7. So 567 is what I got out of this. Okay, I hope this was helpful and have fun with primes.